at this juncture express our women's congratulations to the president of the Chamber of Commerce, and president and chairman of uh, Anhamas Investment, Alaji Dalata Abubakar, for organizing a very, very interesting panel edition of the 2018 International Trade Fair. Success has so far been recorded by the number of representatives at the event. Certainly the team of the PR, which is ease of doing business for sustainable development in Nigeria, is indeed a principle which has started with the federal government well publicized economic recovery and growth plan, that is the ERGP, for rapid economic recovery and sustainable development. It is not worth it to stand that the NDIC is always delighted to participate in the Kano annual trade year because of each conviction that trade fairs serve as very important and powerful avenue for public awareness creating media. In my interest you to know that the NDIC has come to recognize the fair as a very terrible platform to educate the teeming population of Nigeria who are unaware of financial services. This is to me a very critical in our operations and its effective transforms into reality and into our core mandates. In protecting bank depositors, that is a concretely safeguard the payment system and boost financial system stability. As you are aware, the NDIC as a critical member of the Nigerian Financial Safety Net has the primary objectives of protecting bank depositors, promoting public confidence in the entire financial system. Both objectives drive the NDIC's core mandate of deposit guarantee, bank supervision, deposit resolution, and bank liquidation. In that regard, the NDIC has a crucial role to play in successful delivery of the federal government's economic and recovery growth plan, that is the G -E -G -E -R -G -P. Since inception in 1989, the NDIC has recorded tremendous strides in the implementation of each mandate and in ensuring that the overriding public policy objectives of the corporation are strictly being and fully realized in the country. As part of this mandate, the NDIC in collaboration with the Central Bank of Nigeria have jointly conducted examinations of banks to ensure that they operate in safe and sound manner, as well as ensure early identification and timely intervention of problem banks. Distinguished ladies and gentlemen, as provided in the NDIC Act as amended 2006, when financial institutions and depositors of money banks, non-interest banks, primary mortgage banks are reimbursed up to a maximum limit of 500,000 at the beginning and 200,000 for MFPs. However, it is important to state that the NDIC's maximum insurance limits are constantly reviewed by the board of directors of the corporation to ensure that majority of bank depositors are covered in line with the International Association of Deposit Insurance Association Dice IID. is indeed very happy to rejoice with the Nigerian Deposit Insurance Corporation NDIC today. Has been dedicated at a special day to the NDIC purposely to give room to this independent agency of the federal government of Nigeria and a unique opportunity to enlighten the timing, participants, exhibitors and the general public of the objective and the mandate of the NDIC. This is because a lot of depositors are not fully aware of the deposit insurance system. While welcoming you, I would like to inform all of you that NDIC is one of the official partners of the 39th Federal International Trade Fair. This clearly portrays the fact that ASIMA and the NDIC are partners and progress towards the 
of the management and internal staff of the Nigeria Deputy Insurance Corporation, NDIC. I want to thank you most sincerely and most thoroughly for the battle for taking the time to be with us, to celebrate with us today on the, on the NDIC special day at the globally recognized Hey, 